Tania, du musst kommen, dann fühle ich mich nicht so alleine. Tania, please come. Und so danke. I started working for the Ministry for Culture and Heritage, who are the lead government agency, in August of last year. So I've been on board now for 14 months. Usually countries of honour have three years to prepare. Uh, we didn't have that time and we certainly didn't have the budget that some of the other bigger countries are able to, to afford. But what we do have is incredibly creative and passionate people who are used to working collaboratively and quickly. So even though it was a short period of time, I think what we've produced has been, as I say, I'm not being boastful, but it has been outstanding. Tania and I have thought, what are we doing here? Sorry, I'm in so a situation, as it's been often happened to us, then she starts to sing and I go away. Not because she sings, but because I can't sing. In such a situation, Tania, we had before. Remember, you always start singing. I do. And I run away. Yeah. But I'm going to get a couple of people to come up and help, if that's all right. You can. We're going to actually, is it all right? If we did our job right, people would be intrigued enough to come and visit us at the book fair. So for me, it was a. For, for our team it was a strategy of ensuring that everything we did here in Frankfurt, because we couldn't afford to do lots of things over a long period of time, it had to be quality things over a short period of time. So our major campaign to kick off was Museum Zufa Fest, where we picked up the invitation to become Country of Honour at the Ufa Fest. And we bought the best of our contemporary and traditional uh, artists, music artists, kapahaka, raratongan, um, uh, pop, folk people to Uferfest. We bought the carvers, we had our food and wine and it was our way of saying hello Frankfurt and thank you for hosting us. And over the period of time too, we've now had exhibitions and the writers have started reading and we always knew that the quality of the pavilion would be outstanding. I, I'm not being cheeky and I'm not being boastful. But we just knew from the time the concept was presented to us that this team, the Inside Out Patterson team, would provide a whole experience. And because we all did our job properly at the beginning, when they put this pavilion in, this is the result. I've been to Germany a couple of times. Uh, I, I very much like visiting Berlin because the shopping is amazing. I know that sounds very, uh, very, a bit naughty, but I do. And but this is the first time I've worked in Germany. The the project I immediately came off before I came on to here was uh, New Zealand at the Venice Biennale, the Art Biennale, um, and I I've worked on two separate presentations there. And there's quite a bit of difference. Yes, I've worked in Europe, but the Italians and the Germans are very different. It's not just the language, it's the culture. You know, the, the, the Italians I speak with, of course, all speak English, just like the Germans I speak with speak English, but we all understand the language differently. So that, that's been one of the challenges. And also we have different expectations, I think. I. I it's been a great deal of fun, it's been quite hard work. There have been times when I think we've lost things in translation, 
but that will always be. We live on the other side of the world, so we come with, with different things, you know, and so it has been challenging, but with all of that, it's been a positive and great experience for all of the people involved from New Zealand. and this is my very last official duty. And I'd like all the New Zealanders who have come to Frankfurt this year for the book fair, put their hands up, put their hands up, come on. Come on, whānau, put your hands up. Woohoo, see? Aotearoa in the whare for the very last time. Yay! You know, there's a, a certain understanding about uh, the indigenous people of New Zealand about being Māori. Uh, and I suppose uh, it, it seems obvious because I'm Māori that our programme would, would reflect that. But I would also like to think that, that this is how all New Zealanders understand New Zealand to be New Zealand Aotearoa. That tangata whenua, that Māori culture and language and tradition is as important as everything else and we represent that. Uh, and also for me, it's incredibly important that we represent, we come from an island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. You know, we're, a, we're, we're an island in the sea. So it's also uh, to represent our Pacific cousins as well, because they also live in Aotearoa. So I, as well as presenting a really varied programme, but for me, it's a no-brainer. And so, here we are. Um, I wonder if I could call my colleague from Brazil to the stage. And I wonder if I could call my colleague from Te Puya to the stage. We're country of honour for the year, but our publishers and writers have been coming for 20 years to Germany. And what we've been able to achieve this year is to raise the profile and showcase the talent that is the writers. So for us, if we had done a bad job, we would not be able to help them for the future. What I, th what I hope we've succeeded in doing is that Germany is now intrigued about our stories and they want to know more. So I hope our publishers down in Hall 8 are doing great business because you know what? They deserve to. I will be very, truly, deeply sad to leave this country and to leave this city because it has been very good to me personally and very good to the people from my country. But it's time to go home. Yeah.